Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. So in this video, we are going to discuss exercise 4.1 of class 8, exponents and parts chapter. So we have already discussed question number 1, 2 and uh, yes, 3 in the earlier videos. Now we shall discuss from question number 4 today. So question number 4 is simplify and give reasons. So the first bit is, first bit of this question is, you, you'll have to simplify this. So you have 4 to the power 0 plus 5 power minus 1 multiplied by 5 square into 1 by 3. So simple formula, it is 4 to the power 0. So you can use the formula of a power 0 is 1. Yes, so firstly using 4 power 0 is 1 plus, now this is like a to the power minus n. a to the power minus n is 1 by a to the power n. So now this is a to the power minus n. So you have a negative power here. So if you want to send this to denominator, it becomes a positive power. Okay, so here you have 1 by 5 to the power. Now pos power becomes positive. So 5 to the power 1 minus the 1 becomes 1. And here you have multiplied by 5 square into 1 by 3. Okay, so take LCM. So this is 1 plus 1 by 5 into 5 square is 25. 5 into 5 is 25 into 1 by 3. So taking LCM here, LCM is 5 and you have 5 plus 1 into 25 into 1 by 3. So this I can write it as 5 plus 1 is 6 multiplied by 5 into 25 into 1 by 3. Now 5 is in denominator and 25 is in numerator. So 5 ones are 5, 5 is 25. 3 is in denominator so you can cancel 3 ones are and 6 is in numerator. So 3 twos are 6. Now finally you are left out with 5 twos are 10, 10 ones are 10 and in denominator you have 1. So the final answer is 10. So let's see the next question. 1 by 2 whole power minus 3 into 1 by 4 whole to the power minus 3 into 1 by 5 whole to the power minus 3. Okay, so you have 1 by 2 whole to the power minus 3 into 1 by 4 whole to the power minus 3 into 1 by 5 whole to the power minus 3. So this is like, this is of the form. Here you can see it is like a to the power m into, should I write a to the power n? a to the power m into is it a to the power n. So here many students get confused. So the tip is here you see the base is 1 by 2 and 1 by 4. Are the bases equal? No, the bases are not equal. So here you have taken it as a. So here you will not take it as a. You will take a different base because here the bases are different. You have 1 by 2 and 1 by 3. So take it as a and b. Two different letters you will use. Okay. Now see the power, power is minus 3 and minus 3. So are the powers equal? Yes, the powers are equal. The powers are minus 3 and minus 3, okay? So here you have taken it as m. So here also you will take it as m because here the powers are equal. So in this way, if you can compare it with the question and see which formula, which law of exponent you will have to apply. So you will easily get it and there will not be any mistake from your side, right? So a, b a power m into b power m is nothing but a b whole to the power m. a b is nothing but a into b. So here this I can write it as 1 by 2 into 1 by 4. a is 1 by 2, b is 1 by 4 whole to the power minus 3 multiplied by I have 1 by 5 whole to the power minus 3. So this is nothing but 1 into 1 is 1 divided by 4 to the 8 whole power minus 3 multiplied by 1 by 5 whole to the power minus 3. Now again this here the bases are different 1 by 8 and 1 by 5 and power is same. So again we can use the same law of exponent. So using it you have 1 by 8 into 1 by 5 whole to the power minus 3. So that is equals to 1 by 8 5 is 40 whole to the power minus 3. Now we know one formula a to the power minus n is equals to 1 by a to the power n. Isn't it? So that is equal to, now this I can write it as 1 by 1 power minus 3 divided by 40 power minus 3. Why am I writing this using which, which law of exponent again? We know a by b whole power m is equal to a power m divided by b power m. This m distri gets distributed to numerator and also denominator, isn't it? So here this minus 3 power distributes to 1 and 40 also. So now this is 1 power anything gives you 1 again divided by you have 40 power minus 3. 
so this is like this form okay a power minus n or you can take it as 1 by a to the power minus n is equal to a to the power n so simple so if you have if if this is in numerator if you're sending it to denominator this power sign changes if it is in denominator if you're sending it to numerator again the power sign changes if you if it is a negative power in the denominator sending it to numerator you will have a positive part so here you can see 1 to the power uh, 1 divided by 40 to the power minus 3 so minus 3 is a negative power so sending it to numerator 40 to the power 3 it becomes okay the minus 3 becomes positive so you'll have a plus 3 okay so 40 cube is the final answer the next question is 2 power minus 1 plus 3 to the power minus 1 plus 4 to the power minus 1 into 3 by 4. So, let us write it here. 2 to the power minus 1 plus 3 to the power minus 1 plus 4 to the power minus 1 into 3 by 4. So, here you can see all these are of one single law of exponent a power minus n is equal to. Just now I told you if you are sending a power minus n to denominator the power becomes the sign changes. So, so, here you have a negative power. So, here in denominator you have a positive power. Okay. So, this is nothing but 1 by 2 to the power 1 plus 1 by 3 to the power 1 plus 1 by 4 to the power 1 simply by using the single law of exponent multiplied by 3 by 4 you have write it as it is. Okay. So, now this is nothing but 1 by 2 power 1 is 2, 1 by 3 power 1 is 3 and 1 by 4 to the power 1 is 4 multiplied by 3 by 4. So, let's take LCM here. LCM of 2, 3 and 4. LCM of 2, 3 and 4 gives you what? 2, 1s are 2. You have 3, 2, 2s are 4. 2, 1s are 2 and uh, yes. 3 is not divisible. Write it as it is. 2, 1s are 2. So, finally you are, you are left out with 3. Yes. So, now the LCM is 2, 2s are 4. 4, 3s are 12. LCM is 12. Now, what should I multiply here? So, that I will get 12. I should multiply with 6. So, numerator also mul multiply by 6. So, here numerator is 6. You have a plus, right plus. Now, 3. What should I multiply to? 3 to get 12. 3, 4 is a 12. So, numerator also we multiply by 4. So, here 1, 4 is a 4. Numerator is 1 into 4 is 4. I have a plus in between. Write it. Now, here 4, 3 is a 12. So, this is multiplied by 3. So, you have 3 multiplied by 3 by 4. So, 4 plus 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 by 12 into 3 by 4. Now, 3 1s are 3 4s are 12. So, final answer is 13 into 1 is 13 divided by 4 4s are 16 is the final answer. Let's, let's see the next question. 5, yes, 3 power minus 2 divided by 3 into 3 power 0 minus 3 to the power minus 1, fourth bit. 3 to the power minus 2 divided by 3 into 3 to the power 0 minus 3 to the power minus 1. Firstly, here the basic formula you can use is a power 0 is 1. 3 power 0 is 1. And a power minus n is 1 by a to the power n. Isn't it? So, here, here you have 3 power minus 2. So, this I can write as 3 power minus 2 into 1 by 3. Okay, I am just separating this 3 power minus 2 into 1 by 3. You can write this as 3 power minus 2 into 1. So, separating this 3 power minus 2 into 1 by 3, I am writing. Into 3 to the power 0 is like a to the power 0. So, you can write as 1 minus 3 to the power minus 1 is 1 by a to the power n. So, it is 1 by 3 to the power 1. Okay, negative power when it is going to denominate it becomes positive. So, 3 power 1. Here you see here also you have a negative power. Let, let us send it to denominator. So you will have 3 square. The power becomes positive. Here you have a negative power. It becomes 3 square. Multiplied by 1 by 3 into let us take LCM here. So LCM will be 3. So here you will have 3 minus 1. So that is equals to 1 by 3 square into 1 by 3 into 3 minus 1 is 2 by 3. So, this I can write it as 1 into 1 is 1, 1, 2 is a 2 divided by. So, this, this denominator, you just see the denominator, it is 3 square into 3 into 3 is again 3 square, isn't it? So, denominator is of the form a power m into a power n, that is equals to a power m plus n, okay, basis are same. So, this I can write as 2 power 3, 2 by 3 power 2 plus 2. So, 2 by 3 power 2 plus 2 is 3 power 4. 
So 3 power 4 is nothing but 81. So 2 by 81 is the final answer. So let's see the next one. Fifth, fifth bit. 1 plus 1 plus 2 power minus 1 plus 3 power minus 1 plus 4 to the power 0. Let's write it here. So fifth bit is 1 plus 2 power minus 1 plus 3 to the power minus 1 plus 4 to the power 0. So here one basic formula a power 0 is 1. Here you can use. And another formula is a power minus n is 1 by a power n. Why am I using these two formula? Here I have found you have 4 power 0. So a power 0 is 1. And a power minus n. This is negative power. So a power minus n is 1 by a power n. So you have 1 plus 1 by 2 power now, I am just interchanging into denominator. So, this negative part becomes positive. Plus, here also 1 by 3 part, this becomes positive. Plus, 4 part 0 is 1. So, this is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. This 1 plus the last one is 2. So, 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. Let's take LCM. So, you don't have anything here which means 1. And LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So, here you will multiply by 6. So, 1 into 6 and here 2 into 6. 2 into 6 is 12. You have a plus, right? Plus. Now 2 3s gives you 6. Yes. So here also you multiply by 3. So 1 into 3 gives you 3 plus 3 2s gives you 6. So here also you multiply by 2. So this gives you 15 plus 2 is 17 upon 6 is the final answer. So let's see the last bit of question number 4. You have 3 power 2 whole power minus 2 whole square. Okay, so you have 6th bit is 3 to the power, 3 by 2 whole power minus 2 whole square. So, we have learned the formula a power minus n is equals to 1 by a to the power n. So, let me correlate with the question which is given to you. This I can write as a power minus n divided by 1. So, whenever you, ha you are having this a to the power minus n divided by 1, you are just reciprocaling it. Okay, then what is happening to the power? It is becoming 1 by reciprocal. A power minus n divided by 1. Reciprocal is 1 by A power n. The power is becoming positive. When you are reciprocaling, the power becomes positive. Got my point? So, here also you have 3 by 2, which is a fraction. So, let us reciprocal. It becomes 2 by 3. 3 by 2 reciprocal becomes 2 by 3. Whole power. Now, I told you the power becomes positive when you are reciprocaling. Okay, so it becomes whole square. Minus 2 becomes plus 2. And above, again you have a 2. Okay, again one more power you have 2. So, this is nothing but now you have it like a power m whole power n which is a power m n. It gets multiplied. So, this I can write it as 2 by 3 whole to the power 2 into 2 gives you 4. So, 2 by 3 whole to the power 4. Now, this is like a by b whole to the power m, which is a power m divided by b power m. Okay, so you will distribute the power to both numerator and denominator. So, that is equals to 2 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power 4. So, 2 power 4 is 16 divided by 3 power 4 is 81. So, I hope all the problems of this fourth question are clear for you. If yes, do like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment and let me know how did you like and don't forget to share the channel to all your friends. Thanks for watching.